What's going on, guys? It is your boy, Mr. Noland here. Again, losing my voice, allergies. Don't worry, not sick, just allergies. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And in this video, you're going to be given the volume and you're going to be determining the missing piece. So guys, remember from our formula chart, the formula for a rectangular prism is V equals big B times H. The big B stands for the area of the base. Well, I'm going to rewrite it because in reality, all you're doing is length times width times height. And this is the formula I'm going to use. So on this first example, notice it gives me the volume. It gives me the length. It gives me the height. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> it gives me the width. I'm solving for the height. Okay, so here we go. My A, my, I'm sorry, not my A, my V, my volume. My volume is 630. My length is 18. My width is five times my height. So guys, what we're going to do first, 18 times 5, 18, 36, 54, 72, 90. So 18 times 5 is 90. So 90 times what number will give me 630? If you don't know that, let's divide. Now, some of you are like, wow, those are big numbers. Check this one out. Oh, I miswrote. Silly me. You see how they both end in a zero? Just get rid of the zero. How many times can nine go into 63? Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63. That's seven. So your height is seven and my units are feet. There's your answer, nice and easy. All right, check out this next one. Again, it gives us the volume. Start by writing out your uh, formula. Ooh, there it is. Volume equals length times width times height. Well, it gives me a length. My width is unknown and it gives me a height. So my volume is 432. My length is nine. My width is unknown and my height is six. Well, guys, What's nine times six? Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. Well, 54 times what number will give me 432? If we don't know, we're going to buy. Well, guys, we have to figure out how many times can 54 go into 432? Well, check this one out. 54 times 10. Is 540. Which is pretty close, but it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to go down a couple. Let's try 54 times 8. So this is like a little guess and check is what we're doing. Eight times four is 32. Eight times five is 40 plus three is 43. Oh, it matches up. So 54 goes into 432 eight times. So your width is eight and your units is centimeters. 
All right, guys, I hope this video will help you. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.